I started with uh, Dante Nelson. Uh -huh. And I liked him better. <clears throat> and then I saw your video. So just keep doing whatever you're doing, man, and, and start charging for it, man. <laughs> man, bro, I appreciate you, man. I, I really do. Like, it's just been, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's kind of weird, man. Uh, YouTube, like, you just start, you just start. I truly believe everyone needs to start a YouTube channel, first of all, because all I started doing was just documenting. I just started, you know, sharing, sharing what I do, you know, sharing just day in the life. You know, if I'm, exactly. you know, trying to build a business and trying to build an agency and I'm going after clients and I just started doing videos about me talking about the process and talking about how I, how I message them or how I, how exactly. I close. You explain everything in the details. Man, bro. Like, and, and sometimes, sometimes people like that. Sometimes people don't, you know, sometimes I get comments where they're like, man, David, just get to the damn point. Well, that's the thing. Like, uh, I think you, you actually, you, you uh, almost on every, your, your video, I said, this is for beginners. So, if right. Beginner, yeah. 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 That's and my they whole don't pay attention. Exactly. So if I'm beginner and then <clears throat> like I did, like I started Ty Lopez course and they skip man, like, like you have no idea how, how much like and for, for beginner, <clears throat> it's very hard to understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why, I, I mean, I, 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 I love your stuff. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. And, what are you what are you working on what do you because i know you got cartridge started what are you going to be what are you trying to do I, i'd love to help well, you this man. is the thing like uh <clears throat> like i said i went through all this in, in, theor in theory uh actually let me go a little back i'm kind of new to this like uh especially to, to technology like i was always like a down to like an earth guy like i i didn't yeah. pay attention to, to laptop to computers to all this social media mm -hmm. because uh, i was doing sales uh face to face and with my energy, I was able, even with my broken English, man, like I was, especially in insurance, life insurance, mm -hmm. I was doing great, man. Like, like seven out of 10 meetings that I do face to face, I was able to close. Then Corona started and then I switched to the phone sales. I wasn't able to turn like anything into sales because of my accent and my, and my language. Like every time when I ask for social security number, you know, I sound funny, like with thick accent, broken language, like nobody will give you that information over the phone. So that didn't work out in, in, in my favor. <clears throat> and then I started actually, like I said, one after the other video and, 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 and course for a Facebook ads because I was spending a lot of money on Facebook ads just mm -hmm. to get my leads. Mm -hmm. and I wasn't happy with them, to be honest, because I actually understood how, how did they do, like they would resell it to me. Like, and anyway, I started like paying attention to the social media and uh, I understand like very well kind of like Facebook and how everything works, uh, uh, like psychology of sales. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, because I had a, a experience in, a, I even run antique store, that's kind of my passion. Like that, that I do that on the side, like I, I buy and sell stuff, but oh, the, nice. I'm gonna use this to do that. But that's not how I, I make a living like that. What I'm gonna do now is actually, uh, start the building because I think Kartra is great. Even I, I don't know anything about it. I, I, I listened to your video about Kartra and I'm like, this is what I was looking for. I'm stuck because I didn't know about Kartra. I'm going to show you everything, bro. I'm going to teach you everything. You have all my time for free. So we can always schedule these calls. I'm going to teach you every part of it. So don't even worry about that. So my plan is, uh, I have almost everything. Like I have a website, I have a business I have a personal page. I have a business uh, uh, manager, business page. I think I set up, I, I did it that by myself. So I don't know uh, how good setup was, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This, I'll take a everyone, look at it. Yes, if I appreciate that. And my plan is now actually to, because I have a lot of uh, uh, insurance agents, like a, not just a friends, like a, uh, tons of them. They're just a free agents. And I saw you do mostly for the real store agents. So I figured, okay, I can use that and, and transfer to a, a life insurance agents. Because mm -hmm. all I need to do, build, because they don't have a business pages or anything, business manager. They mm -hmm. just have a, a personal Facebook page. So my job would be to get in touch with them uh, and <clears throat> onboard them, kind of build the, the, the business manager, build the business page, uh, build the, the create ads manager and start creating ads. And those ads will be going to landing page, which I'm assuming will be car truck, right? Yes, man. Yes. Yes. And that's what I need. And then. I will have a, just a monthly service from them instead of sending them leads or actually selling them leads. Perfect. They will pay me for the service 
and uh, I don't mind doing that service. Like I don't want to, like I said, uh, uh, I'm not lazy, but I'm not like, you know, I don't want to kill myself. So, but I don't mind doing the work as well. Like, uh, like I don't want to uh, uh, give, you know, I don't want to have a lot of assistance, I would say. I don't mind having 20, 30 clients that I would charge $400 a month just to run their uh, uh, lead campaigns or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just to use the card. And actually, like you said, uh, the, the, with that calendar or email list, like the, when, when, you, <clears throat> when I follow the script, actually, when I tell the clients how everything works, and that's all based on psychology of sales, they say, oh, yeah, man, that's great. Because nobody cares. Like nobody, nobody thinks think about the, the people who, who just give you an email and they like opt out of your page. Like mm -hmm. they, they, they are not retargeted. They are not doing anything with emails. And then when you said like, okay, every my email when I send, I always link my calendar. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, that's like great. So if I just can learn all that, that would be it. <laughs> yes, man. Like in theory, I know what I want to do. Like I have almost everything. I kind of, like I said, I have a culture, I have all these pages, but I think I, 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 they are in good standing, but I never did it anything in practice. And to be honest, last week, actually, uh, <clears throat> uh, interrupt me if I talk too fast. No, but you're good, bro. Keep going. Uh, and last week, actually, I had uh, 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 three meetings for, for three insurance agents, and they all want to start, the, 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 start this. But I told them, look, I'm in process of remodeling my office, my antique store, blah, blah, blah. Just give me a week so I can, you know, get kind of ready. And because I already have a client, I just need to kind of like, like, like put all my cubes together and, and, and start, uh, you know, start doing service for them. Okay. So let me, let me make this, let me make this straight. So from what I'm hearing, you want to run ads and set up ads for insurance agents. Yes. Life insurance agents. Life insurance agents. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, I have this five step this this simple five step process that I that I take people through that I take clients through. Right. So in my case, I have real estate agent clients, and and I do their Facebook advertising and I do their social media for them. But it but I break it down into five steps. Okay, five steps, and I'll tell you what the five steps are. But I break it down to five steps because. The reason for it is most businesses, it's, it's kind of hard right away, especially independent type of business owners. An independent type of business owner is an insur is, is a insurance agent. Some of them are employees of companies, but a lot of them are independent, exactly. right? And, yes, and yes, same 90%. thing with insurance agent. They're, I mean, excuse me, with, with real estate agent. Real with real estate agent, they are independent. So a lot of the times when it comes to servicing those types of clients, a lot of the times they don't have a lot of monthly budget. They don't have, um, you know, 400, a thousand, whatever you want to charge them. Sometimes they're, they're afraid to commit to a monthly retainer. Right. So, so, so what I learned is instead of approaching that client or the potential client, instead of approaching them, asking for 400 a month right now. What I do is I ask them for 400 one time. And, and, and I'll tell you what I do with that 400. But that's how I approach them. And so again, I have five, five steps. Step one, step two is what I do with that one time 400. Then I schedule a meeting with them two weeks later. And we talk about step three, step four, and step five. And that's when they start paying 400 a month. Because now when we get to step three, that's running Facebook ads. That's, that's weekly local lead capture ads, step three. Step four is me helping them create a landing page and we do it through Kartra. Step five is when we start running these Facebook ads and they click and they go to the landing page, which is what I call step four, they enter their name and email. They want more information on life insurance. Now we have that email. Email automation is what I call step five. So, so it's step one and two, which I'll show you what step one and two is. Step one and two is what I'm charging them 400 one time right now to, for me to go do step one and two for you. And again, I'll show you what step one and two is. But when I, when I do it that way, and I've closed hundreds of, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of real estate agents 
this way. So rather than going straight to step three and saying, hey, Mr. Mr. Life Insurance Agent, I want 400 a month and I'm going to do all this for you and, and we're going to start right now, 400 a month, I need you to commit. Rather than going straight to that, straight to the step three, straight to committing, I start them one time. Let's do mm -hmm. 400 one time and with this 400, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do step one, I'm going to do step two. After I do that, Mr. Business Owner, Mr. Life Insurance Agent, then we can schedule a call to speak in a couple weeks. Because now, after we do step one and two, now it's time for step three. And step three is when we start running Facebook ads to capture leads. Step four is when I help you create a landing page to capture the lead. Step five is when I help you create an email autoresponder to help you automate the process of these leads. Because in the emails that start going out, I'm gonna put your calendar. So as we start to email people, step five, email automation, your calendar link's gonna be in those emails and we're gonna be able to schedule appointments. So it's a five-step process that I, that, I, that I teach these clients and, and, I, and I'm able to get 400 upfront from them one time right now and, and there's no commitment and they appreciate that. They appreciate that. Right. And, and then yes. I go do step one and two for them, which I'll show you what that is. I go do step one and two for them and they appreciate that. So by the time I'm talking to them again in two weeks, they're fired up. They're like, holy shit, David, you did an amazing job on step one. You did an amazing job on step two. Okay. So now it's time for step three. Now it's time to start capturing leads. Okay, great. 400 a month. Okay, cool. Let's do it. So at that point, when I'm now asking for step three for a monthly commitment, now they're more likely to do it because I've already built a relationship. I already showed them my services, what I can do step one and step two. And believe me, when it comes to a small business owner, I don't care what business it is, whether it's a, an, an independent one, like an insurance agent or a real estate agent, or an actual small business, like a restaurant, a chiropractor, a gym, a local gym, right? Whether it's a small business owner. 100% of them need step one and two. 100% of them need all the five steps, but it's step one and two that they all need. And it's step one and two that they're more likely to give, to pay me for one time because right now they don't know, they don't know me. I'm approaching them for the first time. Maybe I'm direct messaging them. Maybe I'm connecting with them on Facebook. Maybe I link, I sent them a, a message on LinkedIn. Maybe I'm following them on Instagram and then I asked for a, an appointment. They don't know me yet. So for me to take that appointment and then all of a sudden ask for a monthly commitment, it's 400 a month. It's like, shit, they don't even know me yet. So, so again, when I can approach it and say, hey man, here's what I'd like to do to your page your Facebook page, your social media links. Here's what I like to do. This is what I call step one. And then when I look at their Facebook business page, here's what I want to do. This is what I call step two. And then, and then after again, after I do that, man, 100% of business owners, they need that step one and two, no matter what. Like they want that, they'll pay you for that and they'll pay you one time for that without a problem. So, so where I feed my family, and I've been doing this since 2016, the same exact approach. Where I've been really feeding my family is, on, is, is what I call on the front end, on, on getting clients on that first initial order and, and closing anywhere from three to four of them a week. So if I'm bringing three to four clients a week aboard, all through a direct message, and I don't do phone call. That's the worst. Don't do phone call. That's the worst. I don't ever do phone call. I've never done a phone call ever since I started doing, ever since this 2016. Now, before 2016, I was a phone guy. Before 2016, from, from let's just call it from 1999, from 1999 all the way up to 2016, I was a phone guy. I'm a closer, bro. Like put, put a phone in front of me and I'll dial 700 numbers in your face. Like I'm a phone guy. Like I come from a call center. I come from that background. But when I started approaching clients on social media in 2016, no more phone because now it becomes visual. I started using Zoom in 2016 before it was even popular. Like now because of the Corona thing, everyone's on Zoom. I was doing Zoom in 2016. This is how I take my appointments. I don't do phone call because everything is visual now. I take Zoom, I do screen share, and hundreds of my appointments have been this way. And so, and so, and so, um, 
um, what I'm saying is the fact that shit, what was I saying? I just lost my thought. Um, 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 I'll get it right now. I'll get it back right now. Um, this is this is but how I've been doing it. About, about, you're, you're being phone guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So 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 no more phone. Now it's become a, a, a Zoom and it's become screen share where I visually show them what I'm gonna do. If you're telling me verbally over a phone call all this shit, you 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 lost me. I'm gonna be like, yeah, bro, yeah. what the what the how are you even talking about? But if you're showing me visually showing me. And, and now, yes, thank God, because of, you know, this whole pandemic, now we're, we're forced to use Zoom. People are now used to using Zoom. Even the average consumer, they're Zooming. Even if they're not even in business, they're just a normal consumer. They're Zooming. So people are getting more familiar with this platform, which is a good thing for you. And now we're going to just screen share. So now I'm going to visually show them what I'm going to do. So, so what I'm saying on the front end, closing clients on step one and two. Asking them for that one-time service fee. I from 2016, I've literally closed anywhere from anywhere from. Let's just keep it like super super conservative. I've closed anywhere from anywhere from two to three clients a week up front on the one time. So if I'm charging anywhere from 400 to 500 one time to go do step one and two for them, and I'm closing three clients a week, that's not bad upfront money. That's not bad. And my profit margin on that is about 97%. So my yeah. profit margin, once I show you what step one and two is, it's going to blow your mind because every client will give you 400 right now, one time to go do that. Especially when you're visually showing them, you're saying, Hey, Mr. Life insurance agent, let's look at your business page. Let's look at your Facebook page. Let's look at all your social media links. Now, let me show you my client who's also an insurance agent. And let me show you what I did for their pages. This is step one and two. So when I'm showing them, when I'm looking at their page and then I'm showing them my client's page, they're like, holy shit, David, I need my page to look like that. Okay, cool. 400, is that in your budget? Okay, great. And, and, and so let's just call it three clients a week. You're making 1200 a week up front on that one time service. And again, all my clients come from direct message. So it's not like I'm making cold calls. I'm not door knocking. I'm not doing any of that. I'm direct messaging. And, and these are people that I'm connected with on my personal Facebook page. These could be people that you're connected with on your personal Facebook page, or you can connect with uh, life insurance agents on LinkedIn. Become their friends. Don't pitch them right away. Become their friends. As they post shit, like it. As they post shit, comment on it. As they post shit, share it. Become their genuine friend right? That comes first. But, but on the upfront, three clients a week, you're closing and let's just call it 1200 a week on the, on the upfront. What happens yeah. two weeks later? So let's just do the simple math. Three clients a week. If you're closing three clients a week at 400 each, three, three, three clients a week, and you're doing that, you're doing that four times, or, or you're doing that, you're doing three, six, uh, nine, 12. You're doing 12 a month. At the end of the month, here's what happens. And it happens every time. Here's what happens because this is my business model. This is what happens. And I'd love to teach you this because exactly what you want to do, I'm just telling you how you should start it. That's all I'm doing. Exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. what you want to do is what I'm doing with agents, with real estate I'm agents. I'm listening. But, 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 but what I'm saying is that it's much easier to get this upfront one-time fee, which is step one and two. It's much easier to get this, and this is what's going to feed your family. So if I can get this upfront from you one time right now, that's going to feed my family. If I can do a few of those per week, I can feed my family. And here's what happens. So if I'm doing three a week, 12 a month, at the end of the month, here's what happens. Because my whole thing, when I'm talking to them on the first time and I'm taking that credit card payment for the one time step one and two, and, and, and it, let's just call it 400, as I'm talking to them and as I'm going for the close, I'm also preparing them for step three, four, and five. I'm also preparing them. And again, what is step? I haven't really told you what step one and two is yet. I will tell you what they are. Step one and two. I've told you what step three, four, and five is. Step three is local Facebook ads to capture leads. Step four is landing pages. Step five is email automation. And so for step four and five, I use Kartra. I, I end up getting them on Kartra. So I, I end up getting the affiliate commission on that as well. So I'll tell them about Kartra. I'll build up the, 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 um, 
the the credibility. I'll build up, you know, how good it is, and I'll get them on Kartra. So I'll make that affiliate commission also. But here's what happens: at the end of the month, let's say 12 new clients came came on board. Up front, I made let's just call it 400 each. Up front, okay, that's my upfront money. Not bad at all. You can feed your family off of that. But here's what happens at the end of the month: out of the 12 people, you're gonna have about three of them. You're gonna have about three of them. That because here's what I'm telling them on the first initial call. On the first initial call, I'm saying, hey, John, and by the way, we're going to knock out step one and two. The budget is 400. I'm excited, but here's what I need you to do. In about two weeks, you're going to get an email from me, and, I, and that email is going to talk about step three, four, and five. That e those emails that start to come out for you, I'm going to start educating you on step three, four, and five. So check your emails, and in these emails are going to be my calendar. So what I want you to do, John, is I want you to schedule the next call. We should be speaking in the next two weeks because it's going to take me about two weeks to knock out step one and two for you. So, so as, I'm, as I'm taking care of step one and two, in about a couple of weeks, you're going, to get, you're going to start getting a handful of emails. I want you to schedule another call because on that call, we're going to start talking about what it takes to capture local leads. And that's what they're all about. From day one, on the minute of, the, of your phone call, everybody wants to capture leads. But when I show them what step one and two is, they take that first. And that's the magic in the call. We already know every business owner wants a lead. We already know that. I already know that. And I don't give a damn what business you're running. At the end of the day, I need a freaking lead. That's what it's all about. Okay, cool, Mr. Business Owner. I get it. But let me take a look at your pages real quick. That's what I call step three, lead capture. But let me take a look at your pages real quick. And I'm going to show you where we should start. Because first of all, lead capture, that's going to take a monthly commitment. That's going to take a monthly budget. I don't know if you're there yet financially. I don't know. I don't know your budget. But let me show you where we need to start. And that's where I start to show them. So my whole first presentation is about showing them all five steps, but then breaking it down to only starting at step one and two. And so, and so but here's what happens. At the end of the month, as these 12 clients came aboard, at the end of the month, you're going to have about three of them that schedule that appointment two weeks later. And when those three clients schedule the appointment and you get back on that second phone call, you guys are going over step one. You guys are going over step two. They're fired up because they're seeing what you did. They're seeing their pages look different. They're fired up. So now those three clients are ready to talk about step three. Now they're ready. Now they're like, holy shit, this guy crushed it for me. Now let's see what we can do with lead capture. And that's when I pitch them a monthly retaining. But I truly believe you, need a, you, you could charge them more. I truly believe, I truly believe you could charge them. I, I, I truly believe you should be charging $1,000. $1,000 pays for your monthly retainer and pays for the Facebook ad budget. Start there. Well, well uh, it's almost like that. And uh, your, your, your way is great. And I will apply that 100%. Uh, the only thing what I think with a life insurance agent is this because I, I'm the one I'm the life insurance agent myself yes. and um, Just to, to I don't know. I'm talking about the New Jersey area right now mm -hmm. So just to stay in the business as an independent mm -hmm. agent <clears throat> I was spending weekly and that was actually minimal It wasn't enough five hundred dollars on Facebook ads mm -hmm. because uh, I was buying uh, uh, I was spending actually fifteen dollars Per lead, like medium quality lead. What Plus, type of ads were you running? What What was the objective? Me, what? I would. Uh, uh, oh, you're paying I, someone. I was paying someone. Yes, oh, not bro. just me. All insurance agents, like mm -hmm. everyone that I know. Mm -hmm. So the the, and that that's nothing actually. That's just a, for Facebook. Then we will have a budget for a, a direct mail. Mm -hmm. We will spend. Uh, yes. Yep. Uh, I don't even know, like fifty bucks per mail, like like once. Everything is like, like, I don't even know, like after two, three weeks running campaign, direct mm -hmm. mail, mm -hmm. like all these that I get back, mm -hmm. I don't know, let's say I get 20 of them when I uh, uh, separate everything, like how much I spend, like they cost me like 55 per lead. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. you pay, that's second way to get leads, vehicle. Then that's all, also on a weekly basis. Uh, and I know, in fact, like 99% of the independent insurance agents they buy leads from somebody else. No yep. one has business insurance page. Nobody's, no, no one is gathering the leads, like capturing the leads on their own. Like they don't have a landing page. They don't have anything. They're mm -hmm. just getting the, 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 the mm -hmm. literally cash out of pocket. They're buying the leads, like very low quality leads. And, and uh, 
you can't stay in a business. That, yes. That's why actually I was burned like a few times just because of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so in my opinion, like I'm just talking about insurance, life insurance agents. I know mm -hmm. about other ones just because of that, because when they spend like uh, uh, my manager, like my guru in insurance, he was spending 2,500 a week mm -hmm. just for leads. Mm -hmm. That was his budget. And he was making around, uh, I would say between 45 and, and 6,500 per week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but after like seven, eight years running in, in, in a, on a field. So right now with all this, with Kartra and, and, and uh, with all people that I know, when I show them actually, okay, what Kartra can, like what I'm going to do for them. Uh, I don't think that the, 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 like right away when I, when I propose, okay, it's going to cost you just, and that's true actually. Like, let's say if, if insurance agents wants to, like properly run, runs ads like Facebook ads and mm -hmm. capture leads and everything on, on his own time, like, like on his own, it will cost a minimum three, 400 bucks, right? For car trying all that. Is that correct? Well, if he was, if he was running his own ads and, and paying for Kartra? No, 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 exactly. Like, like if he wants to do it, like if he doesn't want to pay anyone, like mm -hmm. if he wants to just pay Kartra, like as a software yep. and, and do everything on his own, like, Besides Facebook ads, like it will cost him two, three, four hundred dollars a month, every month, just to keep those softwares around. So that's actually my thing. Like, okay, I'm going to pay for your softwares. Like you're actually going to pay for me. I mean, pay me for my software that I use, which will be, let's yes. say, $400 per month. And I will give you literally time free. I'm going to do that for you. Yes. And then yes. you're going to have yes. 10 or 20 agents or 30 agents that yes. I'm going to do the same thing times 400 is 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 nice amount like doing every once everything is set up yes yes so, all, all i'm saying all i'm saying exactly what you want to do is 1000 percent perfect all i'm saying is 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 what i experienced um and what i ended up having to change in the beginning so me rather than approaching the the prospect and going straight pitching them all of that and asking okay, for that yeah. monthly commitment right now when they don't even know me. Yeah, that's all I'm agree. saying is where I started them at first. But they pay you, they pay you right away, right? They give you money up front, 400, correct? Yeah, yeah up front right away because yeah, because I'm starting them small. I'm starting them yeah, small. Yeah, I'm starting them without a commitment. Right? But if yes. I approached you and 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 asked for a monthly commitment, it's different. And, I, I, I agree. I right. Agree. That's different. So that was just my experience. But, um, but, um, my psychology was just because they already know, like if, if you're in a business in life insurance, like you are already committed on, uh, for leads on a weekly basis, you know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that was just, I was thinking, but you are right. Like, uh, absolutely. And I will apply that, that version more, more than anything else. How, 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 um, how experienced are you with the Facebook ads? Are you, have you been running ads for a while? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Not so at all. I so do you have to learn the Facebook ad side more? No, I know. I have everything, actually. You can... Uh, okay, good. My Facebook personal page, it's B-O-Y-A-N, and then my last name, instead of B-O-J. B-O-Y-A-N. Yeah. Yes, and then S-I-M-I-C. S-I-M-I-C. Yeah. Okay. Let's... Um, let me Let's, look at your... Yeah. It, up, that, yeah. Which one is your, is your business page? Not here. Uh, go on my pages. Actually, let's go on business manager. Is it um, is your business page linked over here on your personal page? Uh, no. Okay, right here in the intro. So uh -huh. so so look. So okay, let me. I might as well just, let, let me just show you what this is all about right now. Again, uh -huh. you, you your whole approach is is perfect. I'm just saying what you should approach them with first. Absolutely now, now yes. th that's all, that's all I'm saying. And, and, and this is just based on my experience, what I, what I, what I've done. Right. So, so yeah. this is exactly my model, like exactly my model is what I'm telling you is what I'm suggesting for you. Now, now, unless you know these life insurance agents and they're your colleagues and they're your people that you did business with, yeah, they might trust you right away. But as you go and scale and as you go and take this business on social media and you start and you take your 225 to 5,000, as you go onto LinkedIn and you'll go connect with 5,000 life insurance agents, no one's going to know you. 
Okay, so, so as you start to direct message, if you're going to even do it that way at all, I don't know, you may continue to cold call, but I, I, I think you should start direct messaging. Direct messaging is powerful, man. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Even though you can dial a shitload of numbers in a, in a 60 minute you know, time period, you can direct message just as many people. And because it's social media, that person can see you right away. They can accept your friend request right away. They can start seeing the fact that you're a real person and you have a beautiful little daughter. Like this stuff is real. Very, very different than, than, than taking your phone call over, over a stranger. Very yeah. different. Very, very different. I'd rather take a, a direct message from someone that I do not know on social media because that allows me to click and go see their profile and see if they're even a real person. So, yeah. so that saves me a ton of time and, and, and it gives me, you know, credibility, but here's step one. So rather than me approaching you, let's say I'm the agency and I'm going after life insurance agents okay. so with your exact, time. with your exact strategy and your exact idea and with your exact model in mind, if I'm approaching you and I, and, and again, that, that's what I call step three, step three, Facebook ads. Step four, landing page. Step five, email automation. So if I'm approaching you and I'm coming straight at you with step three, I'm coming straight at you and let's run Facebook ads. Here's what I charge every month, blah, blah, blah. But when I look at your page, I'm like, holy shit, wait a minute. Let's back up a little bit. Before we get to step three, this guy's missing step one and two. I see, I see exactly That's, what and, and I'm going to show you what that is right now because automatically it sticks out on your page. Automatically it sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm going to show you what step one is right now and why it's so freaking important and why every insurance agent will pay you for it because it, it, it makes a difference. Here's the deal. And let me show you where this all came from, where, where, where I got this. Where, when I started in 2016, here's how, here's how it started. Here's how it started. I leave mortgages. I was a, I was a mortgage banker. I was a, I was a loan originator. I did mortgages from 2010 to 2016. When I left mortgages and I, but I come from marketing. I've been in marketing since 99. So online marketing lead capture. I've been doing that since 1999. So marketing and mortgages is all I really did. When I leave mortgages in 2016, after networking with a ton of real estate agents, right? Real estate agent, mortgage guy, they both go, you know, hand in hand. After networking with a lot of real estate agents, me being a mortgage guy, I realized and I, and I learned that the majority, majority of them did not advertise on social media. I knew that the majority of them didn't even advertise at all. And if any, if any real estate agent was advertising, they were still spending it offline. Direct mail, they're buying expensive leads just like you guys. They're putting their face on billboards and bus benches. They're doing offline shit, which is expensive. Any, in, any real estate agent that was, that was marketing or advertising, they were doing it offline and they were spending a ton. So in 2016, the light bulb goes on for me and I'm like, man, I'm sick of mortgages. I'm going to leave mortgages and I'm going to start helping real estate agents with their social media marketing because all of them suck. And I know that I can help them. So what I did in 2016 is I started, I didn't want to cold call. I came from cold calling. I did, I did cold calling for 15 years straight prior to that. I didn't want to cold call every agent. I didn't want to do that. I didn't even want to, I, I did not even want to reach out to my old, you know, business partners who I did mortgages with and say, Hey John, you're, are you still a real estate agent? Hey, I know I did your mortgage for your client, you know, last year, but now I'm doing marketing. Do you want me to help you with your marketing? Like I didn't want to be that guy either. So what I did, and I got it from Gary V. I got it from Gary V back in 2016. I got it from Gary V. I'm listening to Gary V and he's like, man, if you're going to start an agency or if you're going to start helping clients with all this shit, connect with them on social media and start direct message them, messaging them. Bro, I took that to the heart and I took that shit to the next level. I started treating direct messaging the same way I treated the telephone. When I was on the phone, bro, I was calling 700, 800 numbers a day. Like your boy's a dialer. Like I could dial my ass off. I can sit there for hours and not even get up. And I could freaking out dial anyone in, the, in that call center. I'm a dialer. I come from that. I took that same approach and I brought it to Facebook. And in 2016, I removed all of my real friends. See over here, the, two, the 225 that you have, you the see, majority uh, of those people are probably your real friends. Well, but, to be but honest, I did, like, 
What's that? I didn't. I didn't even have a. I had a Facebook before, so I deleted. Like I didn't have a Facebook for like five, four, six years, and then this year I just because of what I'm trying. I'm gotcha. Do, gotcha. Okay. I, I renew it. Perfect. And I have a business actually page and website. So instead of my approach was instead of me having the like uh, my name and doing that, I would be kind of behind my business name, and 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 do the same thing or, or similar thing, but but like. I, I know exactly, like, but that's a great thing. Like, I need to do that. And the, uh, like this my this business is, page is more important than your this personal page is more important than your business page. I agree. You 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 probably don't agree because you probably never heard that before. This <laughs> personal page is more important than your business page. The only reason why your business page is even important is if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads, the hell with your business page. So someone like you, you are running Facebook ads. So yeah, your business page is important. But this, this personal page, this is where you're going to connect with everyone. This I is see. where people are going to know that you're a real freaking person, not just some logo. This right here is important. I'm just showing you what I did. Here's what I did. In 2016, I started removing all of my real friends. So I had about a couple hundred people on here that I actually knew. My brother my own mother, my cousins, friends that I went to school with, my homies that I used to drink with, real friends that I grew up with. A couple hundred of them, that's who I had as friends on Facebook. In 2016, I started removing all of those people because my strategy was to take my 5,000 because you only get 5,000. So my strategy was to request nothing but real estate agents. That started in 2016. So as I'm requesting agents, I get up to 500 friends. I get up to 1,000 friends. Every single one of them is a real estate agent. There's not one on here who's not an agent. As I'm getting to 2,000 friends, as I'm getting to 2,700 friends, 4,000 friends, 5,000 friends, here's where the idea of step one and two came from. And I'm going to show you what, what it is right now. As I'm, look, as I'm connecting with all of my potential clients, I started looking at their pages and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm approaching these people asking for 500 a month off the, right off the bat. I'm asking them to commit on a monthly retainer right off the bat. And these, and these are real estate agents, real estate, they do good. They, they, they close a deal. They make, you know, they make a, a good commission. But what I started realizing is that not everyone wants that monthly commitment right away. So if I'm going to sit here and try to get 500 a month from everybody, I'm going to go broke. I'm going to starve. Right. And then I started looking at everyone's page. I started looking at everyone's page and I'm like, wait a minute. Their page is blank just like this. That's where step one came. And I'm like, wait a minute. I already know that these business owners, these real estate agents, I already know what they want. They're all on social media looking for their next buyer lead or their next seller lead. Everyone needs a lead. I don't give a shit what you do. Everyone needs a lead. So with me already knowing that, I backed up a little bit. And I said, wait a minute. Coming from a marketing perspective and coming from a marketing background, I'm like, wait a minute. You don't need Facebook ads right now. What you need is you need to go update your damn page. And that's where it started. That's where it started. So as I'm starting to look at everyone's page, I'm like, holy shit. I click on this one and it's blank in the intro, just like yours. I clicked on another one. Hers was blank in the intro, just like yours. And I'm like, holy shit, that might be something I can offer them up front without a major commitment. And then I started looking at everyone's business page. Everyone and their mother, everyone, as you connect with a bunch of business owners, every single one of them are going to send you an invite to like their business page. As I started looking at everyone's business page, and again, I've had 5,000 friends since 2016. Some unfriend me, some I unfriend. So my 5,000 list is just like your calling list. With someone like you that cold calls, you have a list and you keep that list clean. I keep my 5,000 friends, I keep that as my list and I keep that clean. So I'm scrubbing through that 5,000, I'll unfriend a few, some will unfriend me and I'll always request more. I'll always request more. You might see it drop to 4997, but right away it's back to 5,000 because I'm always keeping my requests out for real estate agents. You'll always keep that 5,000. So I'm always keeping that 5,000 fresh. So with that being said, this is since 2016. 
So to this day, tens of thousands of real estate agents, and it'll start happening with insurance agents. It'll happen if I start connecting with everyone who owns a gym. It'll happen if I start connecting with everyone who, who owns a bakery. Same shit. If you're a business owner, a local business owner, the number one thing that you do is you go set up a Facebook business page, and then you click invite and invite all your friends. To this day, I've seen tens of thousands of Facebook business pages, especially specifically real estate agents, but I already know every business is the same. Here's where step two came, and I'll show you what step one is. It's the intro. Step two, as I'm looking at everyone's business page, because not only am I looking at everyone's personal page because I'm requesting all these people, and now I'm looking at their business page or their personal page, and that's where, that's where the idea for step one came, and I'll show you what exactly that is, step one, the intro. But then as I started getting all these damn invites to like everyone's page, everyone's a real estate agent, everyone's a real estate agent, everyone's clicking invite. As I'm looking at everyone's page, I'm like, wait a minute. After seeing tens of thousands of them, I'm like, wait a minute, 99.999% of all these freaking weirdos all have 100 to 200 likes. That's where step two came. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait a minute. I already know that this chick, Eva, wants a lead. She's a real estate agent. She's on social media looking for her next lead. I already know that. People are pitching her Facebook advertising. They're pitching 1000 a month, 1500 a month, 500 a month, whatever. I already know that. But, but no one's teaching her the basics. No one's taking her back down and saying, hey, wait a minute. Let's back up a little bit. Before we go into Facebook ads and start paying monthly for it, let me show you what your pages are missing, and let's start there. So step one, here's your page. Let me show you, let me show you my page and then let me show you your page. And this is a public, this, this intro needs to be public. So regardless if we're friends, I should still see the yes. intro. It should not be hidden. It should be public because we're business owners. So this is public information you want to show. Don't hide it for just your friends. But even if you are hiding it for just your friends and you and I become friends, I know for a fact it's, you're, you're still missing everything that I'm about to show you. Here's step one. So as I'm on the call with these people, I'm showing them their page and then I'm showing them my page. But because I'm not a real estate agent, what I do is I show them my client's page. I show them my client who actually is a real estate agent and I show them their page. Step one and two consist of their personal page and consist of their business page. And here's what it is. As I come to your personal page and I look at the intro, there ain't shit there. As I go to my personal page and I come to the intro, you see everything there, but it's not about the lives. It's not about the married. It's about this. There's a link to my business page, but most importantly, what do you see? Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, my website address. And what else do you see? Every single one of them is identical. So as a life insurance agent comes on a social media and tries to build his brand for the first time, he's coming with a cute name. John's life insurance, a whatever, you know, everyone wants to brand themselves, right? Everyone has their little business name and yeah. they'll have that name maybe for Instagram, but they don't have the same one for Twitter. They don't have the same one for LinkedIn. In fact, they probably haven't even customized their LinkedIn link. Nothing is matching. This is basic. This is what I call step one. When I looked at thousands of pages, bro, I look at yours. There ain't shit there. This is something I can sell you on right now. And, 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 and this is basic. We're not even talking lead capture yet. I'm bringing you back down. I'm backing up. I'm saying, wait a minute, bro. After looking at your pages, and then I go show you another life insurance. And if I show you a life insurance client and their shit is all decked out, you'll be like, holy shit, mine needs to look like that. Absolutely. Because it, now it's a fear of loss. Now I'm showing you another agent who's actually a competitor of yours. And I'm showing you what their page looks like. And their page looks better. So, so because most don't even know how to do that shit, now, now I become valuable. Now I say, hey, man, this is step one. What I want to do, the one name that you're branding, we need to make sure we have that name locked on all the platforms. We need to make sure we even have the .com. Do you have all of them matching? No. Do you even have the .com matching? No. Do you have everything listed? Not at all. Right. I got it. I Step understand. one, bro. And then when I go to the business page, here's, here's also where we bring the links. 
So not only do I list everything on the personal page, I show them how to do all that. In fact, I do it for them, but that's step one. But then I also get everything linked over here. So look, there's the, 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 the business email, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital. This is basic branding. And I'm telling you right now, 99.9999% of every small business owner don't even have that. So when you go and run Facebook ads for you personally, bro, you don't have none of that shit listed. You don't look credible. Here's step two. As I'm showing you this page right here, the reason why this intro is so important on the personal page, the reason why this is so important, because as I come to your page, I don't see shit. It's hurting your credibility. It's the first impression. As you come to my page and you see all of this, you're like, holy crap, this guy's a real guy. I can connect with him on LinkedIn. I can see his, his family on Instagram. I can, I, can, I can hit him up on Twitter. Like, it's my credibility. It's my social brand. It's social proof that I'm a real person. I come over here, I'm like, damn, is this, is this even a real page? Right? Because there's nothing listed. Yeah, that right, right there is so important. But, but again, step two, the like count. So, so step one, that intro is the first impression. It's the, it's the first thing people see when they come to your page. When I come to your personal page, I don't even have to scroll down to the most recent post. I scroll down just a little bit and I see the intro right away. That's right. the first impression. The first impression when it comes to the business page, I'm either going to come to the business page and I'm going to see 154 or I'm going to come to the business page. Let's click on this business page of mine over here. Or I'm going to come to the business page and I'm going to see, let me refresh this page. I'm going to come to the business page. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to see 10,000. I'm either going to see 154 or I'm going to see 10,000. That's yeah. step two. So when I'm showing a life insurance agent, I'm looking at their page. I'll look at your page right now. You probably have a couple hundred likes, if that. So when I look at your page and you have 200 likes, and then I show you my client's page, who is also a life insurance agent, and they have 3,700, you're like, holy shit. Just the number alone gives you credibility. You don't even know me, bro. You don't even know me. But when you come to this page and you look at that number, you automatically assume that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I agree. You don't even know me. That number is so important before you start running ads. That's one huge reason why your ads are not converting as high as you wish. And you're probably getting shit leads because you probably have 110 likes, nothing listed, and no one's taking you serious. That's right. So like I said, like I didn't even start running ads for anyone. I'm just getting from Yeah, 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 yeah. But before you do, this is the first ad. Now you don't need 10,000. You don't need nowhere near that. If you just have a few thousand, because what I'm telling you is I'm telling you everyone has a couple hundred. I need to come to your page and see at least a couple thousand. That's the first Facebook ad. That's a like ad. You run that, you run that ad one time, run it for a month, spend a little bit on it, take it to a few thousand likes, and that's it. So, so every insurance agent, for example, like first ad would be just to promote like uh, the, the personal page. Is that what you're saying? No, the, the, first, the, first, the first step is to, is to help them optimize their social media links, meaning customize everything. Yeah, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Intro yes. and all that. I understand. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. Step, step the- two is to run the like ad for them. Okay, so that's my that was my question. So yes. The first ad it would be to add that will uh, uh, promote like like you said, like ad for personal page. Nothing to the business page. Else. No, the business page is the like ad. That's the business page. So you okay. have your personal page, the intro. This is where all your links go, just like right. mine. Just like mine. This is my personal page right here. So all my links are right there. That's step yes. one. They're all going to need that. They all want that. It looks better. It helps them with their branding. Everything is listed. Everything is one name. They pay you for that. All right. So the, let's say every insurance agent that I'm going to work with, mm-hmm. actually first, let's say 50 of them, they don't have a, they have only personal Facebook page, probably yep. same quality as mine, like mm-hmm. nothing on it, probably mm-hmm. stupid mm-hmm. pictures, like never updated. Yep. I was never on my personal page, man, like till the last, I don't know, like last time when I was there, but anyway. So all insurance agent that I'm going to work with actually first few months, uh, 
And later on, when I try to scale, I, I understand, but they don't have anything. They just have a personal page. So just to help me to understand if I have everything, if I understand everything correctly, I would need to build from their personal page, build a, I mean, create a Facebook business account. Correct. That, that would be the first step. Yes. What, what okay. I would do is I would, I would again, upfront one time 500 for this one time 500 upfront. What I'm going to do for you, Mr. Life insurance agent is I'm going to link everything. I'm going to make sure that your name is on every platform. I'm going to make it look like this step yes, two. Yes, yes. What I'm going to do since you don't have a Facebook business page, step two, okay. I'm going to go set up a business page for you. And right away, I'm going to run a like ad. Okay, just so I'm on the same page. So after setting up a business page, like for the client, let's say you are my new client. I'm mm -hmm. setting up after you have a personal page, I'm setting you up. And you, you are onboarded. You said, okay, everything is fine. Four or five hundred bucks a month. You like idea? No, I'm not a start. month. Not a month. Right now, yeah, I, yeah, up front, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, one time. Yeah. One time, yes. Uh, so I started, okay, I'm building you from your personal page, business manager. From business manager, I'm setting up your ad account, adding your payments, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. I know how to all, do all that. Uh, and then I have a, okay, now I'm installing the pixel as well, correct? Right away. No, not yet, because we're okay, not okay. there yet. We're not right, there yet. Right, I'll get there. Uh, that was something that I was confusing. Uh, yeah. So once I'm done with, uh, with the ads manager, I create a business Facebook page. Correct. Yes. Okay. So once everything is done with the business Facebook page, and of course everything is done with personal page before that, I would suppose to go, I mean, start creating the ads. Uh, after uh, the first would be the like ad, and after that would be, let's say, to capture leads. Every time when they see the ad, that ad would take them to the landing page, which I will create yes. in fact. But, that, but that's step three. We're not there yet. So I'm okay. telling them about that up front on our first initial call. Yeah, I was just call. telling you so I so understand, like, okay, okay, go ahead. I'm following. I was just trying yes. to see. Yes, if I, if I, that's, right. that's what I'm preparing them for. So I'm preparing okay. them on the first call. I just took them for 500 right now to go do okay. step one, which is all the links. And then step two, set up their business ad account and run a like ad. After so that. Let me ask you this. When I run like ad, like that, I don't need pixel for that as well. No, no, no pixel, no landing page. Nothing's needed for that. So that will just be created from that green button. Like when I go on ads manager, yes. create yep. and just create a regular it. simple ad for people to like. You got it. That's a simple one-time like ad. Okay, okay. Okay. And, 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 and that's it. So that's it. Like that, that's it. And then I'm telling them what to prepare for. I'm saying, hey, the next few steps, step three is when we start running lead ads. Right now, we're only going to do the likes. Right now, that's it. Step one, all the links. Step two, the likes. That's all so, we're going to do with this $500 budget right now. But what I want you to do is prepare for my emails that are going to come out to you in the next couple of weeks because I'm going to start teaching you the next few steps. So step now, three, step four, and step five. And that's when they go and schedule another appointment. So I'm telling them, schedule an appointment. So when you start right. to get my emails, schedule your next call. All right. So let's say I'm, at, I'm there, a uh, second meeting. Like now it's time to, the, we, I created the business manager, ad, like ad, everything is fine. After two weeks, second, second call, they want to continue with, with, with my service. So now I'm creating, uh, do I turn the first ad off or it's still on just for people to like? That like ad is only a one-time ad that I'll run for maybe, 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 maybe okay. 30 days. Just to have people to follow. Okay. So Just, second ad is actually to capture the leads. The, yes, but that's not right now. That's step three. So yes, that's the second ad, but that's not until we get to step three. Okay. All right. So right, right now it's only step one and two, man. That's it. I'm not, I, I'm not running any other ad for you right now. Like that, 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 again, you can, you can do it however you want, but that's when, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to help you because if you're trying to approach it for the very first time on the very first call, asking to run Facebook ads for them on a monthly retaining fee when they don't even know you yet, it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit more challenging for you. I understand that the, the, the only thing with me, like I already have like maybe like 10, 15 people that, mm -hmm. that already do that. You know, like the, the, they will pay me to run the, the right away, actually, $400. Well, shit, if you got that, then what's the problem? 
I don't know how to do it. Like, like I said, you saw gotcha. my page. Like gotcha. I have everything in my gotcha. head. Like I never did it before. Like gotcha. I did it for my businesses. Like, but that was like shitty business. So I just need, like I said, I have kind of like, you'll see my business page. It's probably shitty. I installed a somewhere pixel. I don't know, probably not correctly. So, uh, bro, we need to learn Facebook ads. Okay. Well then shit. Now it makes sense. That's where you need to focus on is focus on learning the Facebook ad side. So then, then you can offer that service and be confident. Absolutely. Because I know I have like a, perfect, I have, like I said, perfect. even tomorrow I have three clients. If I know how to do it, I would have them. So after I'm done with those, let's say 10 first clients, I agree with your method, like hundred percent. Like it's so stupid for me to go and ask them, okay, commit 400 bucks right away. It's just because I've been in the insurance industry for a gotcha, while. Gotcha. 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 They want me. Gotcha. Okay. Let me look at your business page really quick. What is it? Just go to the, I, this is how I do it. I always log in on my personal page and then I go a new tab. And then I start a uh, 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 Facebook business manager and I just type that in. Yeah, but we gotta, we gotta be able to find it, find it as I type it in over here. Um, Okay. Let's see. It's not Let's... anywhere on my on my uh, personal page. It's not. Okay. It, I wonder it, if it's even it's public. New tab. No, no, no. Just go on a new tab and, and type like business manager, Facebook or whatever. Well, no, that that's that's for you. That that business manager is for you. That's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to access it that way. I I, I should be able to just type it in, and and find find your business page. And see, so here's 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 again here's my point. Step one is customizing your link. So you can easily tell somebody, here's my business page, facebook.com forward slash. This one name needs to match all platforms. Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, every platform, I need that one name. Because if I can't give someone that one name right away and have them go to the damn page, I lost them. So right now you lost me. Right now you lost me. I'm not gonna be able to find your page because we don't know what the damn name is, right? Uh, Simple. Okay. So so that's a service that we give people, man. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. That that's that basic service they pay me for, just to go customize their damn damn name so they can easily give it to people and people can easily find them. I agree. You know, that's right. but most don't even know their damn name to the page. So you're not the only one, bro. Like most don't even. This happens to me every day. Where I'm talking to a real estate agent, I'm like, okay, what's your business page? And they're like, um, um, every time, bro, every time, because it's not customized, it's not matching yeah. all their other platforms. They don't know the damn name. They it's do Royal it just Media like you. Marketing. You know, that's what I call step one. You know, that's what I'm saying. You can get money out of people just by doing that for them because it's it's a it's it's a good value. They need it. We, you know, so right. that's yeah. why if I can't find your page, we're screwed. Exactly, like you said, you lost. Like what the hell. <laughs> You know, so let's see if it, this might be your personal page. Actually, yeah, that's your personal page. It's a, it's a name of the, 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 it's Royal Media Marketing. Perfect. Royal Media Marketing. Man, I like that, man. That's a really nice name. I like that. Well, so let's see if I can find it this way. Perfect. Right here. So it's the New Jersey one. That's it. Add that. Per so that's the perfect. Case. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So, man, I'm telling you, bro, look. As I come over to the business page and I scroll down just a bit, like, let me just close this out. Okay. So if I scroll down just a bit, this is what I'm talking about. 99.99%. These are the likes. I see. And, I and okay. all I'm saying is because no one knows us on social media. Now these first yeah. 15 clients, they know you, but as we really start to, to, to prospect, People don't know you. So when they come to your business page, that's why this like count is so important. That's why these, these, these businesses will pay you to take their 36 to 3,600. I see exactly. I understand exactly. Exactly you know? the point. So, so that's why my whole approach has been, hey, man, I'm not asking for a monthly retainer. Keep your money on lead capture. In fact, we're not even there yet. Let me dumb it down. Let's back up a little bit. And let me show you what your pages are missing. Step one, Royal Media, I should see that everywhere. Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. Royal Media, Royal Media, Royal Media, Royal Media. Like I should see that, that's step one. 
And then step two, yes, I tell them about the light count. I say, hey man, let me, let's look at yours. You're at 36. Let me show you another insurance agent who I helped out and took them to 3,600. So as I'm on Zoom and I'm visually showing you this shit, you're like, damn, David. Yeah, we need to start there. Let's start there. Forget about a monthly retainer. Forget about freaking leads right now. Let's clean up the damn page first and then we'll start capturing leads. And I say, yep, that's where we start. All right, so basically, um, this is my kind of page. Uh, and all right, I will do everything on my personal page to do the intro. So from here, and let's say we already built the, the, the business manager and a business account for the, the, the client, for the insurance agent. Mm -hmm. So now I would need to link my business page with their business page. No, you're not, link, you're not linking your business page to their business page. Actually getting access to the, their ads manager or page. Yeah, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna request access through your ads manager. You're going to request access to their business page. I got to show you all that, bro. Like, I got to show you all that. Like, what's your budget? Like, I have a coaching program. What's your budget? Do you have a little bit of budget to learn this shit? Because I have coaching calls that I want to teach you all this shit. Like, I could teach you everything in about five calls. All right. What's the... the, 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 the... Like normal, like I, I wouldn't charge you like full, full price at all. Like, cause especially cause you're 